Corey, you're going to be on his back, or on the fertile position. <laughs> Tricked it. Alright, so, I'm here, have the guys back. Now, first thing I do, I make my seatbelt grip, so I'm controlling my opponent. Now, from here, maybe he's not respecting the lapels enough, he's not worrying about his neck, so I'm going to look for my clock choke from here. All right, so from my seatbelt grip, my right hand that's underneath his armpit is going to be opening up the lapel, feeding it the grip to my left hand. If Corey sits up here, see the grip, just like this. After I make this grip, my right hand goes thumb inside his opposite lapel. You can make a, a number of different grips with this right hand. For now, we're just going to grab here, all right, with your thumb inside. Same grip as, as the, on the, with the left hand. So he's back down. That's it. Right hand feeds lapel to the left. Right hand grabs the opposite lapel, so your arms are crisscrossing under the guy's body. Now from here, once you have the grips nice and tight, I'm going to do two steps. My first step is with my inside leg, here. Second step is with my outside leg. Now when I do my second step, I want my hips to slide up onto his shoulders, all right? One step, two steps, and now my hip slides up onto his shoulder. You can put your head on the floor here. I like to keep it up off the floor just a little bit. I'm just going to shuffle step around him as I pull the lapel across his neck. Just like that. So again, my opponent turtled. I'm in position to take the back. I get my seatbelt grip. He's not respecting the neck enough. Right hand opens up that lapel. Left hand gets a good strong grip here. Lock your wrist out very tight. Driving the sharp blade of your wrist into his neck. Don't let your wrist curve this way. Always, always drive that sharp blade into his neck. After I get the grip of my left hand, my right hand goes thumb inside his opposite lapel. I get a good strong grip there with the right hand. From here is two steps. First step is the inside leg, second step is outside leg, here. Now from here, I don't want to cross my feet again, because if I do, my weight comes up off him, I lose some of that pressure on the back of his neck. So I keep my left leg in front of my right leg, or my outside leg in front of my inside leg. And then I shuffle step around. As I'm shuffle stepping around, I keep going. Keep going around until he cocks. Keep pulling that lapel across his neck, so again. Seatbelt grip, first thing, get control of your opponent. Right hand opens up the lapel, left hand gets a good grip, thumb inside. Right hand grabs his opposite lapel. Inside leg, outside leg, hips go up onto his shoulder. Walk around, make the guy tap. You can, as you're doing this, put your forehead on the floor as well. And shuffle around. A few different variations, all right? Let's grab our partners, let's give it a shot, guys. One, two, three. Go. 